Oh my oh. god, I remember a black guy having his lunch stolen. He made barbecue and that was stolen too. Too bad for them, he rubbed his balls on the food that was stolen. <laughs> 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 Oh no! I got revenge on my office lunch thief with laxatives and then got them arrested. <laughs> he just wanted to skip the line. Sounds like a lethal me. thing. You got yeah. the person arrested for stealing your lunch? He probably I mean, shut outside. Is he defecating yeah. in public is a crime. Yeah. <laughs> probably went probably probably went to Disneyland and got in the queue. That's fucking hilarious. Uh -huh. That's that. Some dude's stealing your food, so you put laxatives on it, and then he steals your food, eats it with the laxatives, shits himself, and then you call the cops for on him for taking a shit in public. That's, that's a bit fucking wild. That's a bit rich. Like, oh, the laxatives but, You know enough. what? To be fair, man, he was probably, like, sitting down going, man, I'm really looking forward to this fucking sandwich. Yeah. Man. I'm holding out for this sandwich, and then you get there, and it's gone, and you're like, that's it. Yeah, would have, imagine if it was like the best fucking sandwich ever. You fucking put your heart and effort into making it. And some fucking fat cunt at work steals it. Nah, fuck him. Yeah. Then you <laughs> shoot up to go to like a normal person. What? What? Just shoot up the place like a normal person. <laughs> this is a bit, oh. a bit ridiculous. This is a bit far. Just kill everyone instead. All right, Blabs, do your thing. Say please. No. Opening the office fridge, I need to find out that you're lucky. Do you want to go? I've rated not? himself than say yeah. freeze. Oh, that <laughs> reading was worse than mine. I said freeze. <laughs> Fucking, I'm retarded right now. <laughs> you say freeze, he says creamy crust. Jesus Christ, what's going on today? Uh, <laughs> this is dyslexic, Saras. Opening the office fridge, Soul only tree. to find out that the lunch you daydreamed about oh, all that? morning has been stolen. It is a unique type of disappointment. Remember when Ross Geller and friends had his moist maker sandwich stolen? Oh yeah, Sadly, the birds no. flew away in uh, Central Park and everything. It was amazing. He went apoplectic with his rage. However, while Ross went mad, one man revealed how he set about gaining some epic revenge. Taking to Reddit, the, he, the lunch lover revealed that someone in his office had been stealing his food for weeks, and even though he had complained about it to HR many times, nothing had been done. Having a rant about the situation to his doctor during the next appointment, the man was left confused when his devious physician started smiling and asked, You're constipated then? The man admitted that it took him a little while to catch on, but everything became clear when the doctor explained that the best way to get the laxatives to work was to mix them with his food, as this would provide the most explosive results. The next day, the man put his plan into action, recalling the details. They ate my sandwich with special avocado sauce. About an hour after lunch, I went to HR and reported two things. My lunch was stolen again, and two, my medication was stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, before we go on, just hold that thought. Um, uh, Blabs, can you please read this message from D.A. Direwolf? Oh my god, I remember a black guy having his lunch stolen. He made barbecue and that was stolen too. Too bad for them he rubbed his balls on the food that was stolen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm why? sick of these fucking- Why does it have to be a black guy having his lunch stolen? Because he's describing it's, who it was. It's D-Day, it's always, it's always that. It's man. like that chick that found the human feces in a subway, remember yeah. that? Yeah, except I actually believe that um, this black dude rubbed his balls on the food. Yeah. You know what? Fuck, I, I, I'm with him, man. If these motherfuckers kept stealing my food, yeah, I'd start rubbing my nuts on the food they're going to steal. Fuck them. Okay. Especially like when you cook up a barbecue and all Peanut that. And then one. And I don't know. And then, and then especially when you cook up a barbecue and whatnot, and the people are just like, oh, thanks. This tastes really good. And you're just sitting oh. there. Hmm. Bright idea. Does this have any nut products it in it? And you just snicker into yourself? <laughs> Mozza, would you rub your nuts on your food? Oh, no, no. that's right. You don't eat food. Dude, he I does it with his soup. Monster. I don't, actually. That's lies. You just fucking lied, bubs. <laughs> Blackbeard oh, yeah, as of two weeks it. ago. Yeah, I agree with Blackbeard. Why didn't he just roofie the food and then take him home and keep him in his dungeon as a sex toy? Because then he Blackbeard? could put his balls wherever like he wanted. Yeah. I like that Disney movie Black Bear that came out when, like, the 60s or 70s. That was a good movie. D-Day hates it. <laughs> I like the beard. Don't like the black. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? All right, Blab's going. <clears throat> uh, 
that's an ad. Okay, according to the man, HR thought at first the medication was in the sandwich bag. However, when it became clear what had actually happened, that they went white. He wrote, I told them I have had some digestive problems and my doctor prescribed a powerful laxative and advised me to mix it in with my midday meal. I mixed a prescription grade laxative and with my food per doctor's orders. Oh my god, it's the HR guy, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Whether or not he was aware of stealing prescribed med- prescribed medication is actually against the law, and it wasn't long before the police were called to investigate. The man continued, They found a man from a department over absolute shit in his brains out. He was furious and accused me of poisoning his food. <laughs> Pausing to point out that it wasn't his food, the guilty party quickly shut up and got himself a lawyer, but ended up getting sacked. Delighted with the result, the man finished no, the man finished by revealing that one of his friends took over empty vacancy and he can now eat his hoagies in peace without fear of losing them at lunch. This worked out perfect for him. He gets to keep his lunch, the dude got fired, and his friend got the job. Yep. Yeah. This I is did. brilliant. This is the happiest ending ever. Yeah. <laughs> this is good shit. Literally. Um, Delighted with the man's revenge, Reddit's users rushed to share their own similar experiences from their workplace. One person wrote, At one job I worked at, the lunch fee was the best friend of the boss's son. The fucker was bulletproof, <laughs> or so he thought. Complaints about him were ignored. Then he made the mistake of stealing the lunch bag that was clearly marked by a diabetic associate, and she Ooh. had her insulin in it. She called Ooh. the cops. The thief got busted with it and ended up going to prison because he had prior convictions and was still on probation. She <laughs> later sued the owner of the company and won several hundred thousands of dollars for ignoring the asshole's behavior for months. And another person commented, this is why employers shouldn't disregard lunch thieves. It's only a matter of time until they they turn their thieving hands on the employer's things or somehow cause damages to the employer. Fucking mm. wow. <laughs>